dinosaurs were discovered, nobody wanted to believe that. That was really a shocking thought that these giant creatures actually existed way prior to human beings. Things like meteorites. No one believed that meteorites existed. Thomas Jefferson famously said, no such thing as a rock could fall from heaven. That doesn't make any sense at all. But we now know meteorites not only fall from heaven, but they've fallen from the planet Mars and landed on the Earth. I cannot identify a paradigm shifting set of ideas more profound, more fundamental, more sweeping in their implications than the electric universe paradigm. But everyone in our group recognizes that there is a wall that is almost impossible to penetrate. So much money is going into science and lots of progress. The progress is incremental, not many scientific revolutions. We face a lot of problems these days that need solutions, and often solutions will come from scientific revolutions. I suddenly realized that to get any further, I had to discard Einstein's way of looking at things. People take the dogmas of science to be a kind of religious belief system or quasi-religious belief system. And it's this dogmatic belief system which I think is now constricting and holding science back in a very serious way. Science is no different to any other human endeavor. All the base elements that are present in other aspects of society are present in science. Peer review doesn't work. It only works to protect the status quo, the settled science. Part of the problem is that the scientists have taught what was taught in 1950 since 1950. We are today in the midst of a revolution. A earth-shaking revolution in human thought is coming. 